Libra. Thank you so much for coming to your love reading. Um, with that being said, this reading should resonate. Sun, moon, rising, um, or Venus. Those of you guys that are cross-watching, it can be your situation or your partner's. It kind of just depends. So just keep that in mind. Let's get into it. How does Libra's personal interest, or, or I'm sorry, how does Libra, what's Libra's overall energy for love and romance? Libra's overall energy for love and romance. Okay. Knight of Cups. Some of you may be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio, or even a Gemini. What's a Libra's person of interest? What's their overall energy? What's their overall energy? What's their energy? Okay, some of, some of you may be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius. Look, these two are like heading each other off. It's like, hey, what's up? Do you want a dream? This person's over here like, I just want to talk. Can we talk for a second? Is that like a John B song? No, no, no. It wasn't him that sang that. Who the hell sang that song, Can We Talk for a Minute? If you guys know, will you put it in the comment section? God damn it. I, oh, I'm like, I always hear like song lyrics and then I forget what the hell the song is. Jeez. All right. How does Libra feel about this person romantically? How does Libra feel about their person of interest romantically? The King of Cups. Woo. Okay. Okay, Libra, I see you. All right. What is the current situation between these two romantically? What is the current situation between these two romantically? The Knight of, uh, or the, I'm sorry, the King of Wands. There's, listen, there's a lot of fucking people here, Libra. Okay, somebody has to say it. Look at all these damn Knights and Kings. I don't know. Maybe this is like the grown up version. Who knows? I don't know what the heck is going on here, but there's a lot of, there's a lot of people. Let's just say that. But I feel like that's totally Libra. Libra's like, yeah, you're right. Obviously. All right. Let's see. What the hell? All right. What's the best potential outcome here for Libra and their person of interest romantically? Keep an open mind. Let your friends help you in reconciliation. Okay. So. Look at this. Look at it. All right. Reconciliation. Let your friends help you. Cool. Here's, here's something that's interesting. So before I start everybody's reading, um, I always pull a, a relationship archetype. Okay. You guys have the mentor. Now the mentor, of course, is the teacher. It's kind of the guru, but there's something here between you and this person where there's something that is needing to be learned. There's somebody who's a teacher and there's somebody who is the one that's being taught. Now, whether that's, you know, how to love somebody, whether that's on a spiritual level, there's something here, but this is a very um, overwhelming force, okay? It's something that is definitely a gift, right? Like, it, it's there's some type of gift here for knowing exactly what somebody needs in order for them to elevate. So this relationship, and again, I don't know if it's you or them, somebody is helping somebody elevate to a different level. So for instance, uh, if you're elevating at a nine and your partner's a five, they have to elevate to that nine or else they fall off, right? It's something here about receiving um, a level of elevation of consciousness or unconsciousness. Um, but I do feel like there's something here that's being taught to both you and them. Okay. So just kind of keep that in mind. All right. How does, what's the overall energy for love and romance? Okay. Talking. I feel like this month, um, you're interested in having more conversations with somebody. You're looking forward to their messages, their texting, their calling, I think that um, if there was any type of, you know, uh, competition in the past, I think that there's something here where there's a conversation about where we go from here. And for me, if you look at both of these, they're both facing each other. It's not like one has their back to the other. It's, it's having full-on conversations. It's 
an expression of love. It's not only an expression of love, but now it's like a level of action that's being taken towards it. And I feel like for you this month, um, having that conversation about, you know, how you feel and what you want, here you are, there's Queen of Swords, that's Libra, how you feel and what you want. It makes you happy, right? The sun, we have uh, Leo here, as well as Aries, Mars and Aries. Um, I feel like there's a level, there, there's something very optimistic here. It's like, for you, this person, whoever it is, they make you feel like you could get up in the morning. They make you feel like um, the overall energy is just very happy, happy and looking forward to what's next. Knowing secretly, High Priestess, there's Taurus as well as Cancer, Ace of Pentacles, knowing that secretly there is some type of offer here or some type of commitment, some type of new start that's going to happen. It, I feel like it hasn't happened yet, but you know it's coming. That's the two of wands, right? That's Mars and Aries. That's knowing that something is going to come. Um, having faith that it's coming, right? Also, too, you know why that you know why there's a level of faith? Because I feel like with this two of wands here, um, it's very much like a conquer type of energy. Like you want something, you go get it, right? That's Aries. Aries doesn't wait. If they want it, they get it. There's a level of impatience to this. However, there's still a wait here. One more card for what you want me to tell them about their overall energy this month for Libra. Ace of Wands, look. Okay, there is a new start here. I feel like whatever blocked you before, uh, whether it was your past or something that was holding you back, that's no longer an issue. There's definitely something new coming. It's taking um, action in the physical form, right? Because anytime you have the sun with the Ace of Pentacles, that's, this is a minor arcana for the sun, but it's taking that energy, right? It's manifesting to something that you can actually hold. And I feel like it's crazy because I feel like you don't see that coming. Like there's some type of confession or some type of commitment that's coming here between you and this person. Yeah, I feel that very strongly and I feel like you don't see it coming and it's going to happen very, very quickly. Okay. Okay. When it happens, will you put it in the comment section? Because I know something big is going to happen here. Okay. So can you give me some information on Libra's person's energy? Please, Libra's person's business energy, overall energy with love and romance. Ascending. This person um, feels like whatever's being thrown at them, they're just over there like, Cool. It's good. You know what I mean? Like this person is bobbing and weaving. I feel like there's obstacles that they're overcoming. I feel like there's a level of learning. I feel like this person is having communications with you with when they're going to see you. Um, no more information on this person's energy. Some of you may be dealing with a Scorpio or a Cancer. Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. There's something very loving and caring. This person um, has a lot of self-respect, I feel like, Libra. A lot of self-love. They're a family person. I feel like this person, especially with the Ace of Swords and the, the, Knight, of, the Knight of Swords, this person communicates exactly what they want from you romantically. This person, let me see, what's being communicated? Too many. What's being communicated? What is this person communicating here? The emperor, you know, this person's like, look, okay, I'm big papa, don't try to play, or big mama, whatever, like, look at me, look at me, you know what I mean, like, this person is somebody that understands their worth, this person can be somebody of, uh, have like a level of status, but also too, the emperor, that's your opposite, you're the empress, right, this person feels like they're your best match, they feel like no one is going to be better than them. Oh, shit. Look at this. Ten of Pentacles, Two of Cups. You know, like, yeah, I mean, I like this person's energy. This person is ready to settle down. I feel like this person, 
you and this person can have a, a good conversation. Here's Mercury in Virgo. And then you have the Two of Cups, which is uh, Venus in Cancer. Um, this person feels like they're best in commitments. This person knows themselves to a T. This person understands that commitments um, need to be taken very carefully, very lightly. They provide a level of security here. Um, they pay attention to, you know, how you feel. Um, they're very, they need a very safe and solid relationship. This is probably something that was communicated. And I do feel like there is probably a level of possessiveness here. However, I feel like you like that. Because how would, how would Libra feel about this? How would Libra feel about this? The Six of Cups. Some of you are definitely either dealing with the Aries or a Scorpio. Yeah, you would feel good about it. This is a situation, and it's funny because Pisces had kind of like a similar reading, but this is a situation I feel like that is one where you can escape like all your problems. I don't know if that makes any sense. Like every worry you have, I feel like the second that you and this person link up and see each other, those are all gone. It's just you and that person. It's just a connection. It's a reunion. It's a commitment. There's something very beautiful here. Okay. How does Libra feel about this person romantically? How does Libra feel about this person romantically? Love call. Yes, Libra, you love their ass. Let's be honest. You think of them, you let them know, hey, I'm thinking about you. Okay, like maybe you've made some type of choice to move forward with this person and you cut a couple people off. There's something here about you being very happy and emotionally fulfilled when it comes to this person. It can be because your communication is different. Things are moving forward. Not only is there a level of communication, but it's very optimistic of like, hey, where are we going to go from here? What's next? What's new? It's nothing that's ever stopping. And it's just a lot of forward movement. And what's coming from this end moving forward is all positive. Um, so it's only a matter of time before there is a level of success here, especially with the Six of Wands. And it's very optimistic. And there's something you feel very confident that what this person says they they do number one number two this person is very victorious this person um looks nice smells nice dresses nice um somebody that i feel like is wanted by multiple people um and they're just very confident there's a level of confidence i feel like that this person loses yep wheel of fortune and I think for you, things are changing. What is what's change? What does Libra feel like is changing between the, these two? Temperance. That's funny. There's there's all that sad energy, right? What's what's what do they feel? Queen of Wands. There's Aries, Sag, Leo, Cancer. I think that what's changing is this back and forth with not knowing or this, there, there's some level of delay. I feel like that's pushing forward. That's how I feel. I mean, we have the king and the queen here. And technically queens are cardinal signs, so that would be you if we think about it. Okay. Okay. Why is the King of Wands here for the overall situation? Or can you give me one card for their overall situation? I just feel like this person knows what they want. It's funny, Pisces also had this as their situation. So some of you may have Pisces in your chart, or maybe you're dealing with Pisces. I don't know. Um, so overall situation with this person? Romantically. So... <laughs> Overall situation. Let's leave this overall situation with this person. Okay, looking at your photos. One more card. I feel like right now, I'm going to be honest, we have watching, we have looking at photos. I feel like you and this person, 
I don't know if you guys are talking or not yet. Maybe you are. I feel like you are. But I feel like you're just watching. You're looking at what they're doing. You're very focused on what they're putting on social media. You're looking at your pictures, either pictures together. You're reminiscing. You're making memories. But you're very focused. There's a level of focus here on what's wanted. And what's wanted, I feel like, is that <laughs> Queen of Wands and also the Ten of Wands Reverse. It's something coming back around. What's coming back around? That Saturn and uh, Sag, the Ace of Cups. This person wants to see you. I don't know if you're at a distance because there's all this Sag energy. Sag is distance for me. But if you're at a distance, this person is waiting to see you again. They want to see you. They're tired. They're, they're, they're tired of the wait. They're manifesting this or you're manifesting this. What, what's, watch, what's being manifested here as a situation? Listen, Linda, I can't make this shit up. You guys just saw that I shuffled. The Fool with the Six of Swords. That's movement. That's going and traveling. That's seeing one another. That's having a conversation. That's, that's, uh, that's Mercury in uh, Aquarius. Sorry, I wasn't thinking. The Fool. Here's um, Pisces and also Aquarius. It's. Thank you. Because I said, what are they thinking about? What are they going towards? Judgment. A reconciliation. I feel like, uh, Libra, if this person has lied to you before, or if this person has done some things where you felt like it was pretty shitty, or maybe it's on your end, I have no idea. I feel like that's wanting to be worked through. There's something here about working through those issues and making things right. And I think that when you make things right with this person, everything else seems to flow. For those of you that this has brought enough clarity, I love you guys and I'll talk to you next time. Peace.